So, Charles, for a change, you had 90 minutes in the car and an extra set of tyres. It was quite a busy one, wasn't it? It was really busy. I think it's the busiest FP2 I've ever done, but uh, it was nice. It was fun. I mean, loads of, uh, loads of laps, loads of tyres, uh, obviously the proto tyres too that we've, uh, that we've tested. So, uh, positive day overall. Uh, the feeling is, uh, is good. And uh, having done so many laps in FP2, we recovered a little bit the, the lack of running we had in FP1. Now, I know the track's been resurfaced, but quite a few are saying it's quite bumpy. What, what was it like? What was your experience of it? I think it was better. Um, probably we need another step, but, uh, but it was better for, for us at least. And I know it's difficult to read, like you said, proto tyres, don't really know what everyone is doing, but that early read of the car feeling good sets up the weekend nicely? Yeah, the feeling, the feeling was good straight away. Um, so uh, this is always a good sign. Now we always need to do a step up from the Friday to the Saturday. But, uh, but feeling is good. So, uh, yeah, I hope we can have a good Saturday. Uh, Carlos, you look really quick out there today. I know direct comparisons are tricky because of testing and various things, but you look good. Yeah, we were definitely on the pace today. Um, it hasn't been an easy day with the bumps, with the track. It's always challenging here in Austin to, to have a good balance and to have a good ride over the curbs and bumps, but um, in general, we, even if it wasn't the most comfortable <laughs> car to drive out there, we were quick, which is what counts, and, uh, and we were on the pace, so not too bad. In terms of trying to get the weekend off on a, a really positive note, does it feel like one of the better Fridays maybe and heading into the weekend? In terms of pure pace, it does. Uh, in terms of feeling, not so much. So there's still a bit of work to do on, on the car to, for tomorrow, especially FP3 where we need to test a couple of things that we couldn't test in FP2 because of the Pirelli test. No? So, uh, yeah, a few things on, uh, on the checklist for tomorrow. What are the kind of things you want to be working on overnight? Uh, basically get myself a bit more comfortable over the bumps, over the curbs. Um, uh, and, yeah, get that high-speed section in Sector 1 a bit, a bit more together. Uh, the rest, I think we were competitive, competitive in Sector 3 and, se and Sector 2, so we'll see.